it'll be a night and day difference from what we have now. Everybody that returns in August will notice that there's been a big change. The Saints at Port St. Lucie Golf Course will be closing for 10 weeks this summer. The last day of golf will be Friday, May 30th. We've got a lot of nice projects going this summer. We're going to be doing some tea work, bunker work, drainage work, irrigation work. We've got a very busy summer ahead of us. In addition to upgrades and improvements on the course, the Greens will be getting a makeover too. There have been some upgrades in technology with the new grass, and our grass was getting old. We do a lot of rounds. It was getting worn out. This no-till process that we're going to use has really brought the cost of renovation down, made it very reasonable. We're going to take advantage of that this summer and, uh, and replace greens. Renovations of this scale take a lot of preparation, planning, and cooperation. Well, as with any project, it, it really came to be through a lot of support and a lot of work uh, in the forefront. We've been looking at it for a couple years, and through this year, the support of council and, and the city manager, the assistant city manager, and my boss, the Parks and Recreation Director Sherman, we were able to put it all together, and we're very excited about it. And we're right in the middle of Sandpiper Bay community, and uh, they've been very understanding with us, and uh, we enjoy our relationship with them. Although the course will be closed, the Saints will still be holding summer clinics for juniors, women, and men. And several Treasure Coast golf courses have agreed to extend the membership discount. That's great news for our membership, so we really appreciate the clubs doing that. It's Club Med, Eagle Marsh, St. James, Gata Trace, Indian Hills, and Fairwinds. The Saints thanks its members, community, and the City of Port St. Lucie for continuing to support their improvement efforts. The course will reopen in August better than ever.